Mac has here today to show you a few simple tricks and stuff that you can do with the terminal. You see, on a Mac, there's a program, an application, if you will, called Terminal that comes with any Macintosh. You can find it by going into Searchlight, pressing Apple Space, and searching Terminal, then hit Enter to open up Terminal. Terminal will open up normally. It'll be black on white, but I've just set this magical, really awesome coloring. Um, now, you'll notice that it's all text inside of this window, and you really won't be able to do much from here, probably. So, what we're going to do in these next few lessons is show you how to use Terminal. Now, first of all, I'm going to show you and tell you what Terminal is. Terminal is actually a link to a special operating system under the hood of OS X or Mac OS that is called Unix. Unix goes back a lot of years. It's very old and very nice. So right now, you'll notice in the terminal window, we have your username is normally right there and your machine name. In my case, Alex Nichols Mac Book Pro. Now, in this terminal, we can type commands like hi. Most of the time when you type something, it'll say an arrow will come up. Anyway, that's a program I've made individually. So, you will be able to type anything you want, commands. If you type random crud, it'll say bash, command not found, etc. So, I'm going to teach you a few simple commands in this first lesson. Okay. The first command I'm going to teach you is ls. And what ls does is it displays a list of all the files in your current directory. Now what is the current directory you might ask? By default it's your home directory. So you can type ls and scroll up and down to look for desktop. You might find it somewhere. Desktop is definitely here because I'm in my home directory seed right there, desktop. Now, what I'm going to show you is how we can see what's inside of the desktop directory or folder. We do cd space desktop. Now, we've in my home directory slash desktop. Now, we can type ls to see what's on my desktop. As you can see, this is accurate. Documents, games. Documents, games, programs, and picture one. Now, these two things are not actually icons on the desktop. They're mounted hard drives. That's totally different. So now, what I'm going to show you is how to go back a directory, back to your home directory. You type cd space dot dot. And what that does is go back a directory. So if you're in slash users slash alex slash desktop, you do cd dot dot, you're just in slash user slash alex, no more slash desktop. Another thing is you type pwd to see exactly where you are. Right now I'm in slash users slash alex, and if I type cd dot dot again, I'll just be in slash users. I can see all the users by typing ls while I'm in slash users, and it will display all the home directories on this computer. Now, another thing is to see, just go directly, zip directly to a directory. Now, if you type cd space in a full path, it'll take you there. Let's do cd slash, just to go to slash. Type cd space slash, and now we do that. You can type cd space slash users slash alex, and now we're back in my home directory, in slash users slash alex. So that's how you use CD and PWD LS to get around and see what's there and just explore. Now another thing is if you see a text document or something like, uh, let's say, moss.pl. It's actually a text document. That's right there if you don't see it. We can type cat space moss.pl or whatever the text document is called it will display you anything that's in there it'll display all the text inside that text document now if we really want to we can do head to see just the top of it first three lines or something like that 
tail to see the last three lines of it. And cat. Isn't that funny? Head, tail, cat. Anyway, so that's a simple terminal st thing you can do. Pretty simply. Another thing, okay, I showed you how to view Word documents, is how to make a folder or a directory. In this case, I'll be demonstrating with my desktop. So I'm going to CD to my desktop so that I'm in my desktop folder. And I'm going to type LS. And here is everything on my desktop. I just type make dir. That means make directory, make dir, M K D I R, space, and then the folder name, hi. And if the folder name has spaces in it, then I, um, I suggest that you put quotes around it, otherwise it'll get screwed up. So, make dir space, I am Dave, I am Dave, is in quotes. So we take this and drag it into the trash. So now another thing is, instead of dragging it into the trash, we can just delete it. And how you do that, let's make a directory called um, delete me. And um, see, we have it right there. And whenever you're doing a command in some file name or something has a space in it, put a space around the file name. So now delete me is right there. We can type rm, that means remove space delete me and rm only works with a file so we're trying to do it to a directory it's not going to work watch delete me is a directory you see if it was a text document like moss.pl it would automatically delete itself but if it's a um folder or directory what we have to do with rm is we have to do rm dash r and then we type delete me in quotes because rm-r means recursively and what that means is it's going to delete a directory so we do rm-r space quote delete me quote and we press enter now it's gone now say something you don't have the proper permissions to delete what you can do and this is only if you're an admin is type sudo space rm dash r etc and what sudo does is um it basically when you type sudo before a command it executes the command as the super user instead of as your user so even if your user doesn't have the permissions to delete something you type sudo space and then a command then hit enter and then type your password and then it will do it as as the super user or the root user so that's a very interesting thing Another thing is um, um, how to uh, yeah how to clear the terminal. See, you might have a lot of stuff in this terminal right now. You if you if you really want to clear it and just make it clean, you type clear, C L E A R, and hit enter, and now it scrolls down enough just to make that the only line there. Another thing that's useful is say I'm on my desktop and picture one is right here picture one png is right here I want to copy this to documents I can type CP for copy um, and then quotes around picture one because it has a space dot png and I'm going to copy it to documents now it's in documents. Now another thing is, if you just do MV for move, it does the same thing as copy except deletes the first thing you've just copied after it puts it in documents. So picture one PMG would no longer be there; it would only be there. So MV move does that. Another thing is, if you do move, and then let's say picture one dot PNG. And then I'm going to move it to be I dot png. What that does is it moves it in the same directory, so it'll just basically move it somewhere else in on my desktop. But instead of being called picture one dot png, it'll be high dot png with those spaces. So now I've moved it from here to down there, and it's high dot png. So now I can just do um, cp. I dot png 
or to be Dav. And now Dave is right there. It's actually hi.png, but it, Mac OS X doesn't display it as hi.png because there's no .png on it. So if I did Dave.png, it would look good again. So anyway, I'm going to throw all these out now. But anyway, that's how to move, copy, delete files from the terminal and access files and um, view files. So if you have any questions, if you hate me now, then feel free to leave comments in the comment box. Anyway, goodbye. Make sure you see me at Lesson 2.